If you're a fan of head heavy rackets and you like the Yonex brand but are a little bit confused as to which one may be right for you, then this is a video that may help you. All we're going to do today is look at the Astrox series of rackets, which are the head heavy versions of the, the rackets in their range. And from this, we are not going to be talking about the alternate versions of each of these rackets, which are the, the Tour, the Game and the Play. We are just focusing on the Pro versions and what they all bring in terms of playability. And hopefully this will help you a little bit. So first off, we have the wonderful Astrox 100ZZ. This is massively popular uh, amongst the professional players, both singles and doubles. Uh, this is a brilliant all-round racket. It's got power, it has got great defensive capabilities, it's quick around the net. So it's got huge, huge uh, benefits of using this racket. It is very, very stiff indeed. And as you can see, this racket very little bend, and it kind of bends a little bit different. This is because this racket has a solid core shaft, which is the only one out the entire range of rackets. So it flexes a little different than you will get from other rackets. Aside from that, the weight is in the head, extremely stable as you expect from all Yonex rackets. Um, super playable racket, um, one of my favorite rackets. I love the head shape on this as well. Um, great for tension uh, if you like to have your strong at uh, high tensions. So overall, really good all round racket. It will deliver the power, it will deliver all that you require. Next in line, is the 99 Pro. For some of you who may recall when this was launched, it was the racket of the former world number one Kento Mimota um, and designed for him. So there are a few differences with this racket. It replaced the original 99. So first of all, you see that the head shape is a little bit more round uh, pre than previous. Again, top of the range, stiff, but a little bit more flex there than we got out of the 100cc. And it's a different kind of flex from where, from where it flexes. This also had a brand new stringing pattern for Yonex, which brought together a, a very old traditional stringing pattern with the five double grommets at the top, plus as a, an extra one, uh, just another cross string below. So very different feel in terms of hitting. This is um, very head heavy, very stiff, and as such has found a lot more favor with singles players than it has with doubles. Again, like the 100cc, it was available in the 3U um, G4 and 4U G5 in the UK. And I suspect that a lot more players um, would have selected the 4U G5. Uh, the G5 referring to the grip size being that bit smaller and the U referring to the actual weight of the racket. Still popular racket, available in two colorways. Uh, it had the white and black version, which was called the, the White Tiger, and then this cherry red and black. Um, really, really nice racket. I want to talk about colourways, I should actually mention here, a bit remiss of me, that the 100ZZ comes in this lovely navy blue colour with decals and also they have what they call the Kurinai version which is almost like a wine red version of this as well. Uh, both versions still available as I record this video. Let's move on and we'll talk about the Astrox 88D Pro. You'll probably notice yet again, so falling in favour with this design of a lot more rounded head compared to the original 88D Pro. For me, this is slightly less head heavy than the, the original. Um, it is very playable. I think that they've improved manoeuvrability of this frame considerably over the, the original. Maybe lost a little bit of the, the head weight here. 
So not quite as heavy on, on the top end, but still um, a great offensive racket. But they made it more manoeuvrable, so it's a lot better defensively as well. Great all-rounder, super powerful, um, very, very popular racket amongst the professional players. Um, one of the notable players who used this was Gideon of Indonesia, uh, former world number one. And his partner, funny enough, used the other version, which was the 88S. Uh, as you can see, different colorways uh, of the rackets. So what is the difference between the two? Um, first of all, there is the stringy pattern from the 99 is also used on the 88S Pro. Um, the S Pro originally, or the old 88S or skill as it was known, the head weight was a little bit more down here so that the racket was a little bit faster but still had enough weight where the 88D tended to have the weight a little bit more the top end. And I suppose this is still true today that they, they are fairly similar in weight but there is noticeable bit more head weight at the top of the racket in this one compared to the 88S Pro. Again, both of these very, very popular amongst professional players um, and also league players, club players um, as well. So both again stiff as you can see, probably not quite as stiff as the 99 but very much up there in terms of being a stiff frame with head weight to go with it. Last but no means least is the revamped Astrox 77 Pro. The original 77, which was the first of the Astrox series, I didn't particularly get on with. Um, I didn't feel there was enough in that particular racket for it to stand out and I preferred the old Voltric series to it. However, now they've taken the technology that they've learned and used in the, in the other rackets and brought us a brand new 77 Pro and more in keeping shape-wise, not quite with the 100cc. This is a far, far better racket than the original. I think this is probably one of the jewels in the, in the Yonex crown of the Astrox series uh, and again has found a lot of favour with the professional players. This has got a little bit more flex, you can see, so a bit more medium flex. Not quite the head weight you would have found in some of the others, so it's a lot more forgiving of a racket, a lot more manoeuvrable, some would say. Um, and certainly the flex is helped as well for the league players, the county players that wanted something that wasn't quite as stiff as some of the others that I've already uh, mentioned in the range. So the 77 Pro has become a very, very popular racket. I did mention that there are other versions of the rackets being the tour, the game and the play. Not all of them have all versions in the UK. I did recently see a tour version of the 77 and it was a different stringing pattern to this one. This is what I call the three loops pattern and with the, um, the tour version it was a two loops pattern which means that the actual feel is going to be very different although the specs of the racket are supposed to be the same. That's all I'm going to say about the various versions on this video. Um, but I think this is, this is one of the, those rackets that is a lot more user friendly for all standards of player. That extra flex here is bringing a lot more into the overheads for the player. That little bit less weight in the head means that that frame is a lot more manoeuvrable defensively. And for some, it means that they can get more power because they can bring the head through faster as well. So there you have it. We have gone through the Astrox 77 Pro, the 88S Pro, the 
D Pro, the 99 Pro and the 100cc. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you have, please press on the subscribe button and watch out for more videos. Um, there will be a lot more coming in terms of brackets in the future and some on tactics as well. Thank you.